Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, I will discuss the Fibonacci sequence. In the year 1202, Leonardo Fibonacci, also known as Leonardo Bonacci of Pisa, an Italian mathematician of the Middle Ages, spread the Hindu-Arabic numeral system in Europe. One of his famous work is the book Liber Abasi, which means Book of Calculations. One of the problems presented in the book gave rise to the special type of sequence, which has the elements 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and so on and so forth. This infinite sequence arises from this problem. A herd of rabbit started with one pair of adults, one male and one female. Each adult pair bears one pair of offspring, one male and one female monthly. The pairs of young rabbits become adults and bear their offsprings at two months old. Assuming that there is no casualty, how many adult pairs of rabbits are in the herd at the end of nth months? So as you can see, the pattern shows that each successive term is the sum of the two preceding terms. This sequence was later named after him. Basically, Fibonacci sequence is defined by the recursive formula Fib sub n equals Fib sub n minus 1 plus Fib sub n minus 2. In this formula, notice that to get the n term, we need to get the sum of the two preceding terms. Also take note that the first and second term of this sequence is 1. Moreover, when finding the nth term, students typically calculate manually the preceding terms until they arrive at the indicated term. But this process is laborious, especially if you were asked to identify a term with the high nth value. So you usually have a long list of numbers and sometimes even if you are using a calculator, you are still susceptible to errors. So you always have to be careful in solving. Another method in identifying n term of a Fibonacci sequence is using the golden ratio. It is equivalent to one half of quantity 1 plus square root of 5 or approximately equal to this value 1.618034 and so on and so forth. Formula for finding n term is Fib sub n is equal to the golden ratio raised to n minus the nth power of quantity 1 minus the golden ratio, all over square root of 5, where n is the number of terms. As an example, determine the ninth Fibonacci number. Using the first method, write a list of numbers beginning with 2, 1, and then add the preceding numbers until you reach the ninth place. So that is 1, 1, then to get the third term, you need to add the two preceding terms. 1 plus 1 is 2, so third term is 2. For the fourth term, we will add the second term 1 and the third term 2. Sum is equal to 3. To get the fifth term, we will add the third term 2 and the fourth term 3. So that the fifth term is 5. Continuing this process, the 7th and 8th terms are 13 and 21 respectively. Adding them, sum is 34. Thus, the 9th term is 34. Using the formula with golden ratio as an alternative method, we say that the 9th Fibonacci number is given by Fib sub 9 b equal to the golden ratio raised to n minus the nth power of quantity 1 minus the golden ratio all over square root of 5. Here, n value is equal to 9. Substitute the values in this formula. That will be quantity 1.618034 raised to 9 minus the 9th power of quantity 1 minus 1.618034 all over square root of 5. Calculating this, will give a value that is approximately equal to 34. For our second example, what is the difference between the 20th and 19th Fibonacci numbers? When given this kind of example, 
typically students will find the 20th and the 19th Fibonacci numbers and then subtract it. But actually, this can be solved by simply getting the 18th Fibonacci number. Remember that the formula when getting the 20th Fibonacci number is 19th Fibonacci number plus 18th Fibonacci number. By simple algebraic manipulation, transpose Fib sub 19 to the left side. Thus, the difference between Fib sub 20 and Fib sub 19 is Fib sub 18. Solving the 18th Fibonacci number, Using the formula presented earlier, Fib sub 18 is equal to quantity 1.618034 raised to 18 minus the 18th power of 1 minus 1.618034 all over square root of 5. So that will be equal to 2,584. Now if you want to check whether this value is correct or not, you may use the first method or the listing of values. Hence, the difference of 28 and 19 Fibonacci numbers is 2,584. For our third example, find the sum of the first four positive even numbers of the Fibonacci sequence. For this example, it is better for us to use listing method since we do not know the position of the even terms or numbers. Now, rewriting the Fibonacci sequence, we have 1, 1 being the first two terms of the Fibonacci sequence, 2, the third term, 3, the fourth term, followed by 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and so on and so forth. After writing the sequence, and circle the first four positive even numbers. Those are 2, 8, 34, and 144. Notice that the position of the even terms also follows a sequence. The first even term is on the third position, the second even is on the sixth, the third is on the ninth, and the fourth is on the twelfth position. This pattern came from the concept that when two odd numbers were added, sum is even. Meanwhile, for the in-between terms, they are odd because the sum of an odd and an even number is always an odd number. So going back to the question, when 2, 8, 34, and 144 were added, sum is 188. Thus, the sum of the first four positive even numbers in Fibonacci sequence is 188. Thank you for watching. God bless.